it is a beautiful sunny Belize afternoon and I thought why not go to Belize City and explore the place so in this video I am going to explore Belize City with a friend of mine called Jenny and let's see what the city is about my name is Mickey keep watching Belize City, a city with numerous attributes. Some say it's dangerous, others say if you mind your own business, then there's nothing to worry about. In this video, I, together with a Nigerian friend, take a good look at the posh, safe, and even the volatile areas of Belize City. We get to see areas of historic significance and hear from residents whether Belize City is as dangerous as it be made to seem. But before we go on this adventure, I would like to say if you are new and you like to share my experiences or you like to know how to experience these places yourself, please consider subscribing and coming on my journey. Thank you very much. Now let's explore. I've been looking for YouTubers in Belize to try and collaborate with. And funny enough, I found one and she is an African from Nigeria. And I'm going to take this opportunity to go and pick her up and we are going to explore Belize City together. So yeah, let's go. Good afternoon. You made it. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> so we set off to one of my favorite places in Belize City, the BTL Park. This is the safest place in Belize City in my opinion, especially on Princess Margaret Drive. If there is a place in Belize City I would love to stay, it will be at this area. It is close to the beautiful Belize City coastline and littered with hotels and restaurants. Hello, so this is Jenny. Jenny is Toki headquarters. Yeah, Jenny is a sister of mine, and we've come to the BTL park because it's Jenny's favorite Belize city spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's always here at the water side. So yeah, we've come here to just explore. To put it into perspective, I've been at the BTL park on a Sunday evening at 8 p.m. to find it still vibrant, with kids running up and down, and mom and dad sitting and relaxing, having a me time. This is how safe it is at this part of the city. I thought it was going to be very sugary, but it's not. We got to this place right and Jenny pointed something to me uh, there's a statue over here and I can see the word Igbo and Igbo is a tribe in Nigeria and to find that in Belize it caught my attention so I've come and look at it and know the history behind this man so Jenny what is it about this man okay guys um, hello so this man right here you're seeing this um, statue here is an Igbo man his name is Isaiah Emmanuel Mota so um, he came to Belize with his family um, you know during the slavery time they brought them from 
West Africa. West Africa. Okay. Yeah, this man right here um, is a businessman. He's hardworking. He's into banana business and some other businesses. He had some estates. Estates, okay. Yeah. So and he helps a lot of um, poor people. Okay. Like he he did very well in Belize. That was why he was honored by like erecting his tattoo here okay. and yeah so that is it for him he died at the age of 64 years right. so this is a core Igbo man you guys know Igbo people from Nigeria are very hard working people I'm from the Igbo tribe and I'm a hard working hard <laughs> oh and one thing is they call this place Yabra yeah right? Yabra. Yabra and you said Yabra meant what well, we came right yeah in, in Igbo yeah in, Yabira, Yabira. It's supposed Yabira. to be Yabira, but um, because um, the the British that colonized Belize then could not pronounce it very well, so it's supposed oh. to be Yabira, oh. but they call it Yabra. Yabra. Yeah. So, so the whole place is here is called yeah. Yabra. So one funny thing is I'm an Ashanti, right? And we say we came is ya Yeba Yabra oh. Yeba. So wow. come is bra in yeah. in Ashanti. So yeah. Yabra. In Igbo, yeah. com is bia. Oh, bia. bia. All right. Bia. bia. We say bra. We say bia. Ah. Yeah, so, so you see, there's a connection there. Anyway, let's see what 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 else Belize City has got for us. Built from 1812 to 1820, St. John's Cathedral in Belize City is the first church built in the colony of British Honduras and also houses the oldest cemetery in the country. Now that we've seen the posh, safe and historical places of Belize City, why not delve into the infamous south side characterized by the dreaded gang violence through the opinions of residents of Belize and Belize City itself? Is Belize City dangerous? Well, it depends. Um, parts of Belize is dangerous, some parts are very beautiful and uh, it depends on the time of the day that you, you travel Belize because um, during the night I would consider the entire Belize very dangerous, but during the day it's it's, it's a bit safe to, yeah. to walk around the city. To walk around. Is the south side more dangerous than other Belize city places? Um, I would definitely agree with this statement because um, south side has so many gangs that are currently beefing or having different issues and problems. And uh, apart from that, the different like other areas in Belize that doesn't have gangs, they don't have as much issues as south side, so south side would be an area that has so much issues and problems. Yeah. Do you live in the south side? Um, yes, I currently live in the south side of Belize. How does it feel living in a place where you know people are fighting with guns? Well, it's sad to call it home, but I mean, there's not much that you can do because of so many situations, but it's a bit scary because um, different issues can, can knock at the door at any time. It doesn't have anything to do with you, but um, it's a step away from, from your house or your, um, your community. So living in Southside is very, I would say it's very um, stressing to the point that you, you feel unsafe to do anything. Mm. Do you personally have something that you do to protect yourself? Well, there's nothing in place to protect myself except prayers. I'm speaking to God every day to ask Him for protection. That, that's about the only thing that I can do. Or um, maybe stay inside, that's the only thing that I could do other than, other, other than that. But you feel safer walking during the day than in the evenings, right? Um, definitely, I feel safer walking during the day. Right. Would you say Belize City is dangerous? Well, for me, I don't see Belize City as a dangerous place. Mm. You know, it's just that um, the guys are in their own argument with their own fighting against one another but as here as a Belizean I can go in a way you know and I also know, know two of his friends that come here in Belize and I take them any way they want to go 
So like Belize is not really dangerous. It's just that sometimes if you pass around the areas where the guys are giving trouble, maybe they see the enemy fly past and you at this at that place at the same time, then you're gonna heard some gunshot or stuff. But it's not something like a daily thing that they're looking out to rob you or do anything like that, no. So you, by the guys you mean gang members and stuff. Yeah, like gang that. gang members. So you would say that there are gangs going on. Yeah, you have some gang going here, but like for here in Belize, the way how they gang banging is not like a color thing or a red or blue thing. It's like it's like selling selling their drugs, their weed, you know, hanging out, and it's like to me, it's like a street street fight, you know. That maybe Faber's Road don't like Crow Road or you know um, Gill Street don't like um, T Street. Things like those, you know. Maybe they, they, they are friend coming up and they're getting beef and they they whole lot beef. So yeah. you think that if you've got nothing to do with that beef, you shouldn't worry about Belicity. Right, you shouldn't worry about anything because if you are not, you know, hanging with the wrong crew that the wrong with, with guys that have argument and fight against one another and you are just doing your own thing and you're moving around in the daytime, you know. Um, is, is you are okay. Yeah, you are pretty much okay here in Belize. Okay. I know some tourists come here and they live here for years, you know, and the same guys, the bank, the gangbang guys, get used to them, mm. you know. But if if someone see you acting kind of afraid and uh, acting like you are afraid of them, then you are giving them the direction to go and try to rob you because they're going to see that oh that is an easy come up. But if you just be normal and you move around like it's nobody business, you're just happy moving around. And you know, at, at the same time, you are a tourist, you want to make sure you are well secure. You don't want your wallet to the altar, maybe your purse, or you haul out money at any time. Because remember, you are a stranger here. And these guys know who are a stranger and who are not a stranger. Will you ever want to live in the Belize city? They can't pay me to live in the city. <laughs> Why? Too much drama. Mm -hmm. Unsafe. I'm, I'm happy living at the village. At the village. Thirty minutes out of Belize City. So, like, let's say there is a tourist listening to you right now. What would you tell them if they want to go and see Belize City and see what it's about? Well, I want to recommend them going to Belize City by themselves because they they won't know the good area or the bad area. So, if they venture off in a bad area, more than likely they'll get robbed. Okay. So from what you are saying, it means there are some nice areas of Belize City, right? Definitely. There are some good areas, really nice areas. In the daytime, it'll be a little bit safer, but people will still be watching you and monitoring you. So if you venture off in a little off street or something, they'll take that opportunity to probably rob you. Oh, okay. They might not kill you, but they might still rob you. And do you think there can be some accidents? Because one thing that I've heard is bullets don't have eyes to know whether you are part of a gang or not. What would you say about that? You can surely get shot by mistake because in those areas, most of the, the homes are made out of wood, soft wood, and they might be shooting after someone, but they might just penetrate the walls and hit you on another street, yeah. walk in there. Okay, so if you don't have any business in there, don't go to the, the dangerous side. But to know the dangerous side, you need someone who knows the area Definitely. to go with you. Definitely. Okay. All of my life, yeah. 59 years. 59 years. Yep. So let's say I'm a tourist and I come to you and I ask you, is Belize City dangerous? What is your opinion? Well, in every country you go, it's, it's, it's dangerous. But it's not so dangerous as Adelaide's country, but depends on the areas that he wants to go for, as a tourist you know mm. um they brand us as, as a north side i mean the, the south side is very dangerous and north side i don't see it that way yeah. right because i don't have any problem there's some area you go it is too dangerous for you to walk but mm. would you would you say that it depends on the time of the day well the crime is crime so you you can't say well um i'm going to bro this today and someone is pulling out a gun and you know you, you can't say because nobody can predict whenever some danger will occur mm. right but um i it's very hard to answer predict. that yeah you know yeah. it's very very yeah it can be you can go within the you day can go to the market you know yeah. affect you yeah you can go to the market and there's a guy looking for another guy and he pulls out a gun 
he points the gun at the guy, but he missed the guy and he shoot me, you know. He points the gun if you were there, and, you know, you never can say. What would be your advice for someone who doesn't know Belize City? What would be your advice to them, a tourist? I recommend you to go in the city. I would prefer you go to the Keys because that's all the enjoyment is, you know. That's where all the enjoyment is. But um, if you want to have a look in the city, you can walk around in the city, spend a couple of hours. You can go to Placense, you can go to... There's a lot of ruins in Belize that you can have a look and see around, no? Um, there's not much in the city for you to see. Yeah. Right? Well, if you want to come and have a look in the city, well, there's no problem. It's there okay. is definitely places in the city before you could go and have a drink, you know. Um, you got the Princess Hotel, you have um, the Fort Judge Hotel. Those yeah. are nice places. Um, yeah, you can still go there, you know. I don't think anyone will trouble you around yeah. those areas there, you know. Yeah. But um, just watch when. Just, just yeah. keep an eye out. You keep it, you know. You have to look over your shoulder every five, ten minutes, you know. Yeah. But um, over the other side, it's 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 not so bad. But the south side is a problem. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Is Belize City dangerous? Not the whole of it. In fact, there are some amazing places in Belize City I'd recommend you to come and explore. But is the south side of Belize City dangerous? Yes, some part of it. And so is some part of London. So is some part of Paris, California, New York, and all the fancy cities in the world. I'd say stay away from alleyways as there is nothing there for tourists to see. But if you really have to visit, then you make sure that you have someone with local knowledge with you. Just like everywhere in the world, you do not flash your valuable assets around as it may attract unwanted attention. Apart from this, I would like to say do not make the volatile nature of Belize City's south side affect your decision to experience the amazing shores of Belize as it forms only a fraction of this gorgeous country. Please let me know in the comment section your opinion on Belize City. I hope this video was informative if so, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to come on my journey of experience. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.